Okay, it's time for our Sports Radio 810 personality pick segments. These guys still aren't doing great. We'll see if Marco Marquez can get the Border Patrol going in the right direction. Ladies and gentlemen, I present you for the first time this season, the Border Patrol's head is above water. And with the first pick, I'm laying $30 on the Kansas City Chiefs to cover. I think this is the type of game where the offense goes all out. They're clearly the better team in this one. So with that, give me the over 50 and a half in this competition as well. I'll put $30 on that. I am heading out to the NFC West where the Rams and the Cardinals are taking on each other. Arizona, an underdog at plus one and a half against Los Angeles. I think the Cardinals offense can do enough against this Rams defense. The Rams offense won't be able to do much against the Cardinals in this divisional game. Cardinals, eh? All right, Marco. I'm not sure I'd put anything on Cliff Kingsbury to do anything in the National Football League. We'll see how that pans out. Let's now check out and see what happens with the guys on the zone. I really labored over these picks because I found out I like the Chiefs by about 10 points, and I like the over-under at about 50. Well, if you're getting the Chiefs with 9.5 or the over-under at 51, I think the books have this game pretty close. I'm going to go ahead, though, and scoosh down to the under and to take the Chiefs minus the 9.5. I'm thinking kind of a 27-17 game, but I don't love either of those picks super confidently. So I'm going $25 on the Chiefs and $25 on the under. I'm putting my $50 in Germany because that's where the Seahawks and Buccaneers are going to play. The Seahawks getting two and a half points. I kind of like them to just win that game outright, so if I'm getting free points, I'll take them. In Geno, we trust. That's right. Josh Briscoe loves Geno Smith and what the Seahawks are doing. We'll see if that pays off for them. Time to check in on the program now. And Curtis Seabolt. After surviving one of the toughest battles they've had to face for the last couple of years, I think this is a classic letdown situation for the Chiefs. I think they'll win, but I like Jacksonville plus the 9.5 for $40. I'll put 30 on the under. That's 51.5. And, and I'll take the other 30 on the Raiders minus 4.5 in the dysfunction bowl against the Colts. Curtis has been carrying the mail for the program all year long in this pick segment. Doing a great job. We'll see if that keeps going. Nighttime is the right time, they say. I don't know if it's ever the right time for Sterling Holmes, but we'll find out right now. Jack and I are bouncing back. The Chiefs keep it going against the Jacksonville Jaguars, although I don't think they cover the 9.5. So give me the Jags 9.5. I think it's under. 15.5 is too, too many points. Defense will uh, will show up in this one. And for my wild card game, I'm doing Vikings over the Bills. I got them at plus 6. Case Keenum, Josh Allen, doesn't matter. I'm all in on Kirk Cousins. Call me an idiot. I probably am, but I'm buying into the hype. You like that? That's what Sterling says. You like that? Kirk Cousins, go Vikings. That's what he says. I don't know. We'll find out. This is hard to do, hard to get this stuff right. You can follow along all year long. Put your predictions down in the comments section and see how you do against our experts. Thanks for watching Sports Radio 810 Picks.